Good news. Not quite as fat as I was. No, he he's bloody lost a couple of kegs. He's, he's been up already. Better and What's to wrong, Ninja? Were you, were you, did you have a bit of a blowout or something? Were you no, I just yeah, a couple of years of blowout, mate. Just Kid. A lot, lot of bloody tempeh and cashews and raw vegan chocolate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been sorry. reading about a couple of the nutritional guys that I follow about. They call them like poofers, uh, polyunsaturated fats. Apparently, like worst thing for you, and it's in a lot of the vegetable oils and the sunflower oils, but it's in a lot of nuts as well. And so I've been looking at the tempeh we have, mm. heaps of that polyunsaturated fat mm. in it. So because like, after the tempeh you have a few, you do feel a bit heavy. And I'm mm. thinking maybe all that oil is yeah. clogged up. So yeah. my body's not used to it. Yeah, years of clean. So it's probably why you're looking a little bit. More better, yeah. Better. A bit I'm leaner, addicted to, it. I got addicted to it. Yeah. To the a bit of sugar in it too, and things like that. Yeah. So. It is good though, like. But I think the soy is like the soy is pretty processed, isn't it? Yeah, relatively. There's soy and there's soy as well. I don't think there's any much soy getting around on the planet. It's not genetically modified, so it's sort of like even soy bean like that. Yeah, it's. I don't think you can really find too much of it. So I think um, when you genetically modify things, the it's like um, it's. Uh, sterile, like it can't reproduce itself. Okay. That's one of the main things. So you kind of like a, a grape or whatever. There's no seed in it. So it's artificial. It, so it can't. You can't put a, a grape and it won't grow another grapevine because it's, there's no seed in it. So it's sort of like it's been changed. So any seed or pip, if you put it in the ground, should replicate and yeah. grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, avocado even too. Yeah. Avocado so so like... the if you have um, organic avocados, they'll grow, but it's um, yeah. So but they'll, and, and the fruit. So things will grow, but are they, um, will they have fruit on them? Uh, if you know what I mean? So it's really? like the, it's so the, like the coding, the genetic coding yeah, is in there. Yeah. And so the, that's where the Monsantos and things like that have got it stitched up because they're, you've got to buy the seeds off them, but you also got to buy the things that will activate the plant so that it'll actually have um, fruit on them and yeah. things like that. So yeah, if you put anything from like a, conventional supermarket um, tomato or something in the ground it might grow a bush but it won't grow fruit yeah but yeah. if you have a uh, heritage kind of old seed that has still got um, potency so that that's kind of part of it like that when you've got um, potency you're not sterile you're actually and you know a vital plant or a vital animal mm. you, you kind of you, you can reproduce you know, right. that, so life, that life force is more uh, intense and there, you know, yeah. and concentrated and yeah. So that's, yeah, it's part of it. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a bit of a tangent. Uh, <laughs> <nutritionally> <laughs> went off. Well, exactly. Yeah. We're actually trying to interview, introduce a video here. So we did a video four years ago on my hamstrings that blew up quite large, didn't it? But we thought we'd recreate it four and a half years on. Yep. So, Ninja did a stroke from pretty much my top of my hammy all the way down at my pinky toe, and he coined it two of the longest massage strokes in mm. history. So. Mainly because he's got fucking long legs. Yeah. <laughs> Big penis. His, his legs are six foot long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. My torso is just half yeah. a foot. Yeah, so, um, and <laughs> oh. I suppose thinking back in those days too, we had um, Aaron's dad filmed it. Yeah. Farnsy, good day, Farnsy out there. And we'll, uh, and, yeah. we'll put the card up there if you want to watch the original. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, and um, so, and back in those days, we may talk about our videos, like we just didn't edit, we just put them straight yeah, on. Yeah, didn't even choose a thumbnail. Didn't choose a thumbnail, didn't put end cards or, you know, all these. End screens, yeah. Yeah, things yeah. like that, so, um, yeah, and, and like just from the thumbnail that YouTube automatically chooses from out of your video, that the, a few of our videos, our best videos, our four best videos are actually no thumbnail chosen, no edit, not literally. <laughs> just yeah. put them on, and um, yeah, yeah, and they no, not they even went a, well. There's a description sometimes. It was yeah. just like choose a title and put yeah. it up. And we, yeah. yeah, we back back when we were making this original video, we had no idea. We was just doing a little bit of marketing. Oh, we should do some videos. Mm. You know, we didn't even know. Actually, yeah. I think Jason, you and me were more about Instagram and Facebook. Mm. And Ninja yeah. was the one saying, "Oh, we'll put them on YouTube." Yeah, as well. yeah. And I remember thinking, "Oh, you know, what's, what's YouTube? that going to do?" Yeah. And then one day we check, and it's mm. like, "What mm. the heck's happened here?" Yeah. And so, like, I suppose back in those days, the thoughts was short attention span, short videos, yeah, that's right. yeah, short and concise. And then, like, a twelve-minute hamstring video was long, but um, you know, there is. 
a market there for people that want to have more comprehensive mm. look at how we treat and things like that. So now we do half hour, hour, we've got a 90 minute breathing, breathing video. So, um, whoosh. So yeah, the breathing video, very comprehensive, very important thing to know how Fix to do. Fix it yourself, isn't it? Fix it yourself series, the whole thing is brilliant. Put, put the series up there too. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you, if you want to learn how to fix yourself, fix it yourself series and um, yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Let's get into it. All right. So he's up. Uh, Good luck. Left. He's left, um, left one. Looks like it needs a good flush out. So, yeah. so let, let's have a have a look at your hamstring. Thanks, mate. Oh. We'll drape him. We'll give him that traditional wedgie. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah, we get used. One of the things that you do when you're a practitioner, you get good at doing wedgies. <laughs> Very discreet wedgies that, um, yeah, can, um, yeah, just. Give you access to the spots you want, and then keep them feeling a bit of modesty. Yeah, modesty, bit of modesty. And, uh, not being vulnerable. That's yeah, a Jason line. This is really important. <laughs> There's a one video where you say it's that about draping, I think. Keep yeah, I think it was one of the groin ones. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so you always connect in, engage. So we've got to um, sink into the tissues until we hit those end feels, and just hold it. So it's very important that initial spot, initial touch is confident. That's one of the main things we kind of want to do here. That you know business, it's not of not, um, there's no mistaking what you're about, you know. It's, it's um, all about therapy and we want to have those therapeutic feelings, those therapeutic sensations. You want to interpret it as being yeah, good, you yeah. know. Even though there's pain sensations, you sort of know when it's trauma which we don't want to do that. We don't want to do any extra damage. We don't want to create any extra trauma, sort of mental or physical trauma. We want to help you get better. We want to help this function better, perform better, less pain, things like that. So it's right from that start that we're engaging and we want to get right to where those tendons join onto bones. So right now I'm trying to catch hamstring, but also some adductor like that. So this is like, I'm calling this a warm-up stroke, but I'm also affecting the tissue, so I'm clearing things out, and I'm going at the rate that the tissue allows me, so that's a really important thing. So um, when the tissue's feeling good, my strokes will um, go faster, but when there's stuff that's um, harder and more adhesive, things like that, the strokes slow down, and that's part of the technique, you know? Like you, you can't get it wrong. Even if you're having a full chat, you're doing a video, you can still be um, very effective mm. because you're the of the, the system and the intention that you have before you do the the kind of the treatment. And, and that's one thing that um, I think you should always think about as a practitioner as well, or even when you're doing self-treatment is sort of have that good intention to have, um, to help the person, even though you're pushing, you know, yeah, cool to be kind, or you, you know, all those you you want to um, have a good outcome. So if you have that intention, then you you're gonna gonna go well. So anyway, this is feeling pretty stuck, eh? How are you yeah, going there, man? Yeah, how are we feeling, it's feeling not, down not there? Budging. It's not really budging. It's very therapeutic, but yeah, it's just not going anywhere. Yeah. So we're honouring that, you know, and that's okay. So because once we get that the ball rolling then she just starts to move, you know, but yeah. you gotta, you gotta um, respect that that initial part is really stuck and it really needs to be melted down. So you just hold on to it. Wow. Just with physics, if you hold onto something for long enough, it'll start to, to melt type of thing. And fix a trophy. Fix a trophy and red a trophy. So some things under load, they will melt and become liquefied. Some things under under load will harden up. And so with the human body, if your intention is to hold it and nurture it, it will melt. But if you kind of attack it, go hard and go beyond the, the boundaries where you're getting given permission, you're forcing things, you protect yourself, you, you brace, you, you get your armor up, you know, so you're triggered. Mm. So you, we don't want to trigger that, um, 
traumatic uh, protection response. You know, we want to out, get in and be able to do the work. So that's a really important point. So I'm starting to move a little bit now. Just just starting now. So this is like what a real treatment would be like. You know, like it's it's um that's the way it goes. You know, you don't just try and you know do this stroke, this stroke, this stroke. You got to do five minutes here or one minute there, all that kind of stuff. You 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 know you you pick out where the most important spots that you want to explore are, and then you you work on them. So if you can kind of, you're better off to do one spot well than a hundred spots poorly. Mm. You know, so it's sort of that's, you know, if you can get that key spot, that can unravel so many other things, you know, so because that key spot would have rippled on effect to have compensation type things and tightnesses and dysfunctions and nervous system wouldn't be shooting their signals and, and things through like they could. So yeah, we start. We are moving. It's like a We're snail. We're slowly getting there, aren't we? You've gone, you've gone that far. It's yeah. so funny we haven't even got the elbow out yet. I can no. tell it's not moving very much, but the sensation is changing all the time. Yeah. So yeah, that's a really good point. Like when you are receiving it, you can you can feel all these little uh, intricate movements and mm. um, the shakes and the. <laughs> the wiggles, the taps, you know, you you can sense it and it doesn't look like anything when you're purposely observing it, but you can really sense, you know, when somebody's connecting in and, and hitting all the different aspects of uh, of scar, you know, like a scar isn't just a a straight line, it's it's round, you know, it's three D. So you there on a knot you might want to you might be hitting the top aspect on here, but what about underneath it and the side of it and that side, you know? Like sometimes you need to to work different angles just to clear one kind of um, spot through. Oh yeah, good stuff. Very good. So That's, there we go. Oh, starting to move. Starting to move. Look at how far we've gone now. We're taking it off. We're off. We're off. We're off oh, to the races yeah. here, off down the main straight. Look how far we've got to go. Oh, oh shit. this is. <laughs> oh, that's bashful. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be an hour long oh, video if we're going at this rate. Yeah, he's got very long legs. Oh, gonna pull these out of the Christmas party. Tell you what, <laughs> the pins. <laughs> the pins. What's planned for this year's Christmas oh, party? No, 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 keep it under wraps, Jay. <laughs> gonna clip the hair though. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's the only tip. Um, only secret we can give. Crack out my fishnets. Yeah. <laughs> Fishnet stockings. <laughs> <laughs> what else could be like, going on? Well, we'll have to order them in special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Palm again, wow, then. that's a line. So I'm gonna I'm using this pizzy form in here. So I wanna that's get close, right into that. Oh, that's good. In here. And get that pizzy form to get right into that tendon of the hamstring. And then be able to work along it a bit. This one's moving a bit quicker. Yeah. But you feel like it's pretty therapeutic. Oh, still. hell yeah. 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 So I can feel like I get to do a catch a bit of his IT band and go right through that. I'm not going to do it with my hand because, like, um, physically that's really... Um, tiring. Yeah, tiring. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll do that with the elbow. So I'm sort of um, warming it up oh, and then good. we'll actually very go to work. But a lot of um, clearing work is going to be done just in the warm-up strokes, eh? Like, yeah. So this is going to, um, the patience that we've shown here in the warm-up, it's going to pay off because there's not going to be as much junk to clear and then we'll actually be um, honing in on those uh, really stuck, scarred up, you know, solidified mm. spots in your hamstring. And the, the anatomy of the hamstring, it is fairly simple because it's only a couple of muscles mm. but it's um, very interesting how r there is attachment onto the bone re right down the hamstring as well and that's one of the things we really try and um, concentrate on is tendon you know where muscle attaches onto the bone that's the tendon and that's where the stress points actually are that the, they're white and strong and harder rubbery material and they're made out of that stuff for a reason because they they are where it attaches on to a bone and that's um they pull bones you know t 
in a certain direction, they need to be very strong because they're, they're loaded and they need to maintain an attachment onto a bone as well. So they're, they're made out of different materials. So we actually really and um, try and yeah, hit down at that level. And when we're looking at diagrams and charts and stuff, you will notice that that's the white. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, have a look at the white stuff. On yeah, this is starts. the big one that Ninja's looking at at the moment, Ooh. down there. Starting up here and coming down that one. Yep. Whoa. He looks like he's right in it there. Yeah, right in. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to hold these too much because. Look at the guns. Yeah, yeah. They're at work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. How does it feel from your end, Aaron? What so are you good. feeling at the moment? Just yeah. so comprehensive. You know? Oh, hitting good spots, though. Really good spots. Feels like it's kind of. Um, getting in between these little crevices and it's like prizing everything apart, just melting these little lines that should be kind of separate, but they feel like they're all bunched, so Ninja's kind of melting them. All the different striations. Yeah. It's got me homework. Yeah, striations. I reckon get the, get the big fella in there, Ninja. Time is <laughs> it? Time for the, it's time for the elbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't even know it was, <laughs> that's going to be read wrong on that. Yeah. That's definitely not what we meant, but. Ninja's here going, no one's ever called it that before. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja. <Maybe> old. <laughs> <laughs> the old. The old big. Get the old fellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Here goes. That's got us on the wrong path. Sorry, fellas, we got that. Yeah, don't want to. Got to work on my lingo. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we can kind of get up oh, in. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. that. Oh. Into where that hamstring tendon oh. touches on. Oh. So I can angle right yeah. into it. But I've got it. Oh. I don't want to jam it up into there. You might have seen from other videos. <laughs> my um, over the barrel one. I might put it up here again. Bruce. Just there, Bruce the barrel, we called it now. He's in the corner there, look yeah. at him. Yeah, Bruce. A, having a gaze. Yeah. The direction of your, oh. that you want to encourage the tissue is, you know, really important. Oh. So, we can melt it here, oh. but I don't want to jam it up into there because that's where it's been stuck up into. Oh. So, once I've melted it, that tissue, then I can change oh. angle like that. Oh. So just there, that has <laughs> enacted a scoop up in here and then down like that. Oh. So my twist like that, staying engaged, and I'm trying to encourage oh. that tissue from where it's stuck up into where that oh. hamstring attaches onto the, the sit bone, oh. encouraging it down like that. Oh. So I've got a good oh. purchase on his, on the table, pushing in sideways. Yeah. My legs are right into it. This is not hard on my body physically, yeah. but I'm given a really deep, oh, connected oh. Uh, hamstring treatment. Gosh. So we're going to go along. Oh. So I feel like this stroke can go um, fairly fluently and quickly just because of that really comprehensive warm up we did as well. So, and I've got the ability here to flatten. Yeah. So I can flatten that or I can pinpoint a bit more by pulling, Ooh, yeah. sharpening my elbow like that. So I feel like there yeah. is where I want to, I've got a fairly broad thing, but I'm flattening and <sighs> and kind of plowing that out. <laughs> Pinning it and just, <sighs> just working that along. Oh, it's bringing back memories, Ninja. Yeah, you remember this? Oh, it feels good though, it's so good. Yeah. So, and in this sort of area of the body too, like uh, adductors, you know, adductor magnus, oh. massive muscle in the in the human body, massive for a reason. It does a lot of work. Yeah. And it's not a muscle that's actually talked about much or treated that often. Um, but we've found, you know, in conjunction with hamstring treatment, is so important. And um, our squats that we do as well, we we really target the adductors, and that and that's part of the pe whole pelvic health. You know, when you can get a really healthy um, adductor oh. complex, you would call it complex. A few few different um, oh. muscles in that complex. 
Um, when you can really squat deeply and purely, naturally, you, uh, your human body works well. You can shit really well. I mean, sit really well. Both. We, uh, there's a video on uh, how the squat helps. Oh, it helps yes. you. Yeah, that's a really good video if anyone watches that one. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we had to get five of these. Oh, this should, be, so, um, should be about 100 cards. We've only just discovered cards in the last month or something, so. Oh, shit, this is so good. Yeah. Uh, still got a solid, oh, still got a there. solid hour to go. I yeah, reckon with this stroke. Oh, the length of his legs. I don't oh, know if we, we might oh, have to do part two. Oh, 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 well, oh cameraman's arms are getting yeah, sore. Yeah, holding the Jace is getting a bit over it. Oh, 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 oh,
pre um, mid game interview. So good. How did you go in the first half there, mate? Yeah, I had a few touches. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How's the game plan? Oh yeah, it's been good. Yeah. We're surging it forward and yeah, it's a couple, couple snags though, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 A couple of big fellas have snagged one. Yeah, and a, couple of, that from the opposition. a couple of taggers, a couple of Damien Peverils. <laughs> <laughs> Put him up again. No, Damien Peveril, we cut him in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you need. Uh, what was the comment? Oh, no, I better not say it. I feel bad. Yeah, you better say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Hit like a smash ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, good. oh, shit, man. So, a bit more yeah, lateral this time, kind of, Yeah, I'm lateral, but I can kind of go into the outside of that hamstring, cut into that part, but I can also do a bit of oh, this. Oh, the flatness, yeah. Flatness through that. Back yeah, of the I feel ITB. Like you'd, be, you'd be able to go straight down your leg with that. Yeah. Set up there. So maybe I'll do that just for something li- slightly different for the, <laughs> our audience. Yeah, I'm lying on you. <laughs> yeah, get through the. Yes. Oh. Flush the big belly out. Yeah. And when I feel like I can just. Oh, oh that, that looks one. good. A bit sharper, yeah, yeah, a bit sharper oh, into oh, that oh, hamstring, oh. but then. Yeah, the flat. Flattened. Flushing kind of thing. So. Oh, that's very therapeutic. Wow. So you might do this flatter kind if you're doing more of a pre or post game treatment when you're ninja, the more yeah. sports or yeah. or Yeah. Just, I suppose you well, like we said before, up, yeah, what whatever's required, what yeah. is, whatever's uh, relevant on the day, honour that. Mm, but this good. this stroke here, I think this is more like we did that the really long one. So it was more flat rather than a, a real so. detail. Yeah, I think so. You know, so we can kind of oh, clear yeah. this sort of tissue. I can feel like this one can go down over that. Yeah, and, 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 um, Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, the therapy in that. That is unbelievable. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, oh. Something brewing in here. Oh, oh, something's brewing. This is moving a bit. Like you can, yeah, it's good. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, you can, but like Aaron was saying there, you can feel something brewing. Like when you're receiving treatment, you kind of, you can feel that you get a sense that something's coming up. And quite often it never really gets to that real boiling point because you're just clearing it so slowly. And the, uh, But um, and that's one of the things you want, like, um, when you're getting treatment, you want the spots that are stuck in your body to be found and you want them to be worked and cleared. You know, you don't want to go home um, feeling like the the spots, that you, spots in your body that you intuitively, intuitively know are stuck and are important to getting your body to heal and to function better again. You don't, you want them to be worked. You just know that um, you're gonna get better once they've been effectively Worked, found, and worked. So it is really important. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna just go straight over. I feel like I wanna. I can sharpen that a little. Yeah, come on the inside of that. Yeah, come on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. And then I'm going to stay there for a bit. Oh, I'm going to flatten. Yeah. I'm going to go straight down in that direction. Oh. Oh. Like that. Oh. So it's moving a bit. <laughs> but this is all really white rubbery tendony kind of material that we're trying to to change solidity of we want to melt that down Shit. it's moving pretty well <laughs> you good bro yeah So that's cool. How you going? So good. You reckon yeah. we'll make it to the end? Yeah, I reckon I'll make it over this tent. I might 
try and get into the calf just that little bit. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he's just ramped up a little bit. Flat there. Flat there, but I can kind of feel oh. the contours of the what's underneath my oh. elbow, and I can try and really stay engaged and kind of be searching for these solidified tissues and. But I'm, I'm quite a bit. I'm, I'm reading off what Aaron's saying. What's feels good. What's important. Things like that as well. So. Oh, good. So when you go in over this sort of the back of the knee, start on the outside, and you kind of can flatten your angle a bit. So I'm not quite as on top now. I can kind of go like this, go oh, across like oh. that, and just here I can feel something. Ooh. Coming up, so the pressure's not as good, but there's there's still a lot of it's good. Man. Yeah, I'm taking the slack. I'm still engaging. Oh. Just something was under there. I'm just going through it. That's good as going through it. Uh. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. So the fascial continuum. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're getting that all that whole line of. Um, tension. There you go, we'll just have a quick squeeze at it. The old superficial back line oh, coming down so here. Good. Yeah. yeah, keep on going across the knee. Like that. Now we're into the calf. Now we're into the calf, yeah. So we can kind of, I can change my angles a bit. I'll just change that like that. Really work that. How's that, man? So good. Yeah. I just got so tired. <laughs> Your body is going into shutdown so I can oh, heal this. 100%, man. Yeah. 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 You, did, you just did some deep cleaning, I reckon. Like yeah, man. Body just went Detox, bro. Oh, Clean so first, good. build second. So good. Detox first, nourish second. Absorb second. Give the body a chance to heal. Give the body a chance to be healthy by uh, cleaning out the, the stuff that's stuck. This non-replicating tissue or this scar tissue, things like that, that's over scarred, that's it's not a replicating tissue in the body. It's just, it's not a biological cell that replicates, dies and replicates. It's um, just collects more and more debris. So if you can clean that out, you can um, give the body a chance to yourself so I can actually start to get into oh, angle there oh. get into the calf money spot you might know that one as well geez it looks so high on Aaron because his legs yeah. oh. so that. So most I'm people's are normally about here somewhere yeah. <laughs> calf money spot so work through that <laughs> Superman oh. flying swimming bit of swimming Helps you get through it. You move another <laughs> part of your body. Your body, your brain can't focus on oh, yeah. two things fully at once. You people to wiggle their toes and things like that. And, but yeah, but we're gonna go. It actually works. Yeah, yeah. You, focus goes off it. Oh, that's so good. This is the best. Oh. Jealous. Oh, you want man. some? Although mine would have been over about. 15 minutes ago because yeah. my legs are about half the size. Yeah, we got short legs, Jase. What is that video that you went come and get some? <laughs> uh, when I was doing a seated neck and shoulder treatment on you. How do you remember? Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. I did about four different treatments in one back in those days. Was like yeah, yeah, two years. spots. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing oh. your neck and your um, upper trap, but also did some shoulder in your bicep tendon and got you moving oh, around and got right. you to show me where it was again. That's right. <laughs> you want some more? Nah. 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 <laughs> Fixed. Nah. Fixed. Come in and get some. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah, so we're going on your Achilles. Oh. Like that. And then I can hit where that, the fascial bits on the side of that heel. Ooh. Like that there. Oh. 
Jaser. Yeah, they connected. So the whole time I haven't lost connection. So it would have been doing something, clearing something therapeutic in some kind of intensity. The whole time we've been doing that. Ah, Kaiser Suso. Yeah. I might just go along the side of his foot just because. Oh, you can. so good. I've got a question for Scotty. I've got this thing on the tip of my tongue. Who is the bad, on. The bad guy in LA Confidential? <laughs> it was like Kaiser Suso. No, that's that's the wrong movie. Wrong movie? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Not LA Confidential. That's um, The Usual Suspects. The Usual it's Suspects. Kaiser Sol Sam. Kaiser but... Sol. Yeah, what is it? That's the one with Kevin Spacey. Kevin in Spacey. It. That's it's Kaiser someone. Yeah. Kaiser Sol. That's not LA Confidential. Not though. LA Confidential. Nah. Sorry, I got the wrong Kevin Spacey movie. I just <laughs> yeah. had it on my tip of my tongue when I said Shizen. Anyway, oh, Nick, back that's to me. Right there. That's getting into tertius, maybe. I reckon. Into tertius. Oh, what is that? Oh, what have we got here? Fifth Metatarsal. Fuck. Oh, oh yes, and that's yeah. heaven now. Yeah. That. That is just as I remember it, Ninja, the yeah. best stroke ever. Yeah. Whoa! Wow, best stroke wow, ever. Wow, 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 we. You alright? Oh Coming my out. Gosh. Coming out? Coming out, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> Sink it out. Wow, Ninja. How's that? Bloody amazing. Oh. <laughs> Let's have a bit of a post match. Post match debrief. Debrief. Oh. Oh. I'll keep them on. Oh, Keep them on. So nice. Oh, Ninja. I think this is what you did in the original one. Yeah, too, I think it was. Yeah, and then we big stretch. Oh, no, that was a different one. Okay, I'll do it. The great one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Pleasure. That was incredible, man. So, um, what are the points to take away from that? Summarising. So, honour the tissue. Try and find the most important spots. Honour how long it takes to to go through it, don't rush it, yeah, don't re force respect it. Respect the tissue. Respect it, yeah. stay engaged, keep communication. Just because you came in with a preconceived idea about what you wanted to do, doesn't necessarily mean that's what's gonna happen. Doesn't play out yeah. that way necessarily. You Gotta know. adapt. Yeah, adapt and um, yeah. Yeah, but that feels good. Yeah. And even though we didn't think we were gonna get that stroke done, you ended up doing it. Yeah. So you got to the plane anyway, but you yeah. just did some deeper cleaning up near the yeah. tendon. Yeah, that inside, the ductors and stuff was probably a bit of a add-on yeah. or a bonus or, you know, we needed to do that as well. That so. was so good, man. The interest to see how fast you run. Oh, yeah. Next sprint. I feel knackered now, though. That was, I think you got rid of some deep shit, man. Some demons. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Time.